Hello guys, this is a recap of what we did today in class. So the first thing I did was go over this slides presentation. So take a minute to open that up and read through it just to make sure you know some of the policies that I introduced today. Then you're going to go into your classwork tab and open up your agenda. Find today's slide, skip the attendance form, you can complete your PDN. If you haven't already done this, remember to join Remind, that is your homework for the week. And then the main activity today was questioning the text, which is a separate assignment in Classroom, right here at the bottom of cycle four. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. You're going to click on that document and open it up. So this beginning part about levels of questioning we did together as a class with um, students generating the examples that are written in red. Basically these are levels of questioning that our textbook is going to be using throughout the year. The first one is literal. That is a question that can be answered with one correct answer. And that's an answer that you can find by pointing to it in a reference. So, for example, in the text America and I that you read, what country was the narrator originally from? So you can read not even the whole thing and say that she's from Russia because she straight out tells you that she came from Russia. That is a literal question. So we came up with some examples from Reading High School. So a literal question for Reading High School would be something like, what is the RHS mascot? Where is RHS located? Who is the principal? What are the school colors? All of those would be answerable with one correct answer. The Red Knight, Reading, Pennsylvania, Red and Black, Mr. Terman, and any of those things you could find by looking them up. Level two is interpretive. An interpretive question calls for an inference, so sort of like what we were doing with the visual texts last week. Um, the answers are not directly there. You can't just point to it, but you can use evidence from the text to support the answer. So for the America and I example, you could ask, how does the narrator's view of the American dream align with your definition? So that allows for multiple different answers, each of which would need to be supported by evidence in the text. So examples of this for uh, the high school would be things like, how do you feel about the high school? Who is your favorite teacher? What is your favorite program? Those are things that could have multiple answers, but could be supported by different types of evidence. The third level is universal, which means you're going beyond any one text or place or, you know, small category. So if we're talking about the same themes from America and I, the general universal question would be something like, what do people everywhere require so that they can be happy? So if we were going to take that into the Reading High School model, it would be something like, what is the biggest priority for high school students to succeed. Why is high school so hard? Right? It's asking a question about high school in general rather than a specific question about Reading. Okay, so ooh, here in the As You Read, it's telling you what you need to be doing while you're reading the following article. One is to type in questions using the comment feature. That is up here, this little plus sign um, in a speech bubble and then it saves your comments over here, and then to highlight unknown words and phrases with your highlighting tool up here. This is from Newzella, so if you want an audio version, you can click here and it will take you to the Newzella site. You are reading through the article, noting questions or unknown words as you go. 
And then answering the making observation questions, which are opinion questions. So what ideas from this article were interesting to you? What did you learn about freedom of speech that you didn't know before? And what is a question or two that you had while reading this? And then there are a couple of multiple choice questions that are sort of um, reading comprehension. You can either highlight your answer with the highlighting tool or you can delete all the other answers out and leave the one that you want to choose. And today we stopped short of the exit ticket because I'm going to have you do that as your PDN for the next class period that we meet synchronously.